This one's out to deep left field, and that is long gone. Big fly for Albert Pujols. Career RBI number 2,000. What a moment for Albert Pujols. 639th home run results in RBI number 2,000 in his career. It is the third player in the history of the game. You know you're in a baseball town when they make the announcement up on the scoreboard and you get a standing ovation from the home team's crowd. They acknowledge that they've seen a pretty special moment here. That is hard hit. It's off Altuve. Here comes LeMahieu. Correa throwing home after the ball hit off of Altuve, hit off of his chest and went to his right. Correa, the Johnny on the spot, and threw it home to get the out and in the inning. Phenomenal play by Correa, a cannon to home. Up the middle, and Correa diving stop. Carlos gets up, out at first base. Heck of a play by Carlos Correa ranging up the middle. How's that back feeling, laying out, making a great play? This is going to be the, the play of the year to this point. Correa with a, a maddening dive up the middle. I don't know how he got to it. Sure helps that he's six foot four, but right at the end of the webbing, popped up quickly and a gun to first base. All right, this is a fly ball out to center. I'll think about it for a second. Oh! Bernie with an unbelievable play. Sliding on the warning track in center field and taking away sure extra bases from Colin Moran. Get it good, Birdie. Are you kidding me? What a catch. Check this out. Wow. Great read, great break. Over the shoulder, full extension. Wow. Oh, this from a guy who doesn't play center field every day. Imagine if he did. <laughs> 3-2 pitch, breaking ball popped up. Donaldson near the dugout, leads in, and he got it! He got it at the rail! Josh Donaldson comes up with a big play, and the Braves hang on to beat the Phillies. What a catch by Donaldson to wow. lean in over the rail and haul it in to end the game. And Smiley wants to work quickly. Canna hammers this one out to left field. Back on it near the wall. Oh. Reaching up on the fence and making the catch. Hunter Pence climbs the wall to make the grab, and there are two gone. That will definitely make the highlight reels. Spider-Man, Hunter Pence, hanging up there for a little bit and holding on. Here's the pitch and a swing and a fly ball right center Bubba on the run closing diving and did he hold on he did what a catch by Bubba Starling laying out in shallow right center to rob Anthony Santander of a base hit and at least one RBI what a play by Bubba that's right they can look at that all they want matter of fact let's look at it again ball thought it was in the alley but wouldn't hit that hard Bubba using that speed athleticism Man, he landed hard on that left shoulder. Look at him spread out there. Ooh, man. That is putting your body on the line. That was the play of the game so far. The delivery is swung on, hit hard on a hop, and off the glove of Devers. Grabs it with a bare hand throw. Got him. What a recovery. Oh. An absolute seed. Lourdes Gurriel Jr. hit off the glove of Rafi. It bounced in the air. He grabbed it. High with his bare hand and fired a strike to first. Did Rick Porcello very happy, clapping. Would have been a hit, I think, it had uh, not been an out. Because it was scalded. What a recovery. That is caught by Gregorius. What a play for out number two in the ninth inning. His mastery over the Twins knows no bounds. I mean, all you can do is shake your head. This ball is absolutely tattooed. Oh, a great catch by Dini. Oh, a fabulous catch. He left his feet, dove, and made a grab of a hard line drive that was a sure base hit. 1-0 delivery. This one is hit in the air to deep center field. Almora going back. He's at the track. He's at the wall. He leaps. Does he make the catch? He does! 
What an amazing catch in left center field by Albert Almora Jr. Dietrich thinks this ball is gone and Almora pulls it back high off the wall. Great catch as he tumbles to the ground and that is a big time play by Albert. The 0-1 and that's lifted in the right. Reddick hustling in and he makes the headlong diving grab. A big second out as the runners have to retreat. It looked like Reddick was initially uncertain as to how to approach that, but had to go into the dive, reaching to his left, and makes a big play. He sold out. There's no doubt about it. Very decisive. Kelly's one strike pitch. So we got a fly ball, center field deep. Bellinger going back to the warning track, to the wall. It's a grand slam. Howie Kendrick has done it. They're going crazy in the Nationals' dugout. Howie Kendrick with a grand slam here in the 10th inning of Game 5. The Nationals 7, the Dodgers 3. Do you believe it? Breaking hearts in Los Angeles. You talk about staying through a ball. And look, there's fans leaving already. That's down the right field line into the corner. This ball is gone for a home run. Howie Kendrick has done it again. A slicing two-run homer off the right field foul pole. Do you believe it, Howie Kendrick? Part two. They are jumping up and down in the Nationals dugout waiting to greet Howie Kendrick as Howie Kendrick has provided his signature moment in the World Series. A slow roller up the middle. Lindor with a flip and a double play. And that is an all-star play to say the least. Francisco Lindor. Oh, what a double play! Lindor on a ball back up the middle. Diving from his belly with a glove flip to Kipnis. Oh, you won't see a better one than that. And there's a shot toward the gap, right center field. Racing after this, Pilar makes a headlong dive and a spectacular catch. The runner's going to score from third, but here goes the throw back to first. It's in time, a double play. What a play by Pilar. And miraculously, he turns it into an inning ending double play. Brinky's got it. Tapia is doubled off. Zach had to wait for somebody to get back to the bag. It was hit so hard up the middle. He'll take that. That's just what he needed right there. Could have been a triple play. Well, maybe not. Wolters got back. Nice reactionary play that time by Grinky and a good feed right to Ahmed. And that's up the middle. Mustakas flips it. Arcia fires and safe at first. That was a great opportunity there. That was the only chance Mustakas had. That was bang bang. Brewers will want to take a look at this. Yeah, good awareness by Arcia knowing that Mustakas might pull that one off. Only chance they had. And we'll see if the Brewers want to look at this one. We'll look at it because it was pretty. Oh, it was a double play without the double play. Mustakas backhanded flip with the club and Arcia's got a gun. I think he may have got him. So there's the call and the inning is over. Popped up foul territory near the tarp, giving Chase Cooper, who oh. slams into the tarp. Did he hang on? He did. Garrett Cooper running full head of steam into the tarp. Look at his right eye. This guy's not missing a start. He's going out there. This is old school. This is throwback. This is good stuff. Max Scherzer with a broken nose has struck out 10 Philadelphia Phillies over seven shutout innings. We are seeing unbelievable things at the ballpark tonight. Legend. Could be a tough play for Nolan with a bare hand. Whoa. Wow. Unbelievable. Who does that? And now this one tops everything. We heap products all the time, and well, we should on Nolan. And we, we see him use the bare hand. I've never seen a guy on, on a bouncing ball to his right that still on the dirt. He's not coming to get that. Instead of grabbing with the leather and, and then going over the top, he just grabbed it with his bare hand. This one looped to left center. Out goes Tatis, and he'll make the catch! How about that, Fernando Tatis Jr.? An acrobatic 
spectacular catch. Leaping in the air, coming down, doing a bit of a somersault. The kick can play. You know, he's going to go to his right, he's going to go to his left, he's going to charge, he's going to make those plays. But how about the in-betweeners like we just saw there? Off the fist, that's going to float out there. Back, 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 Fernando over the shoulder, reaches back. Makes the grab. It never occurred to me that Fernando, even with his athletic ability, can get back there to get an angle to catch that ball. So we're hanging a star for Fernando Tatis Jr. That is stopped by Rendon. What a play. Took another hit away from Altuve. As Anthony Rendon dives to his right. And his reaction and his ability to play the hot corner. You see, you got to be ready right when the pitch is delivered, and he absolutely twice now. This time he was able to make the out. And the MVP chance from the crowd here for Rendon. We're in the middle of the diamond. That oh. nice play by Rosario. He gets the fourth wow. and the double play. Gorgeous double play. The dive by Rosario, the great turn by Cano. 6-4-3, as pretty as they come. This is a whole different Ahmed Rosario, and he just laid out to make a sparkling stop and initiate a double play to end the top of the second. And Gomes sends it way up into the air. I can barely see the baseball runner. Right Bobby, can see it too. Get it. Oh, did he make the catch? He did. At least the fans say he did. He did. something else. Oh, that is an F7, but put a well, star next put, to it. You'll put several stars next to that one. Tumbling into the stands. It took him a couple of uh, moments to extract himself from the uh, seats, but he caught the baseball. Have a night, Rybell. Flies this one along the right field line, a long one for McNeil, across the line, up against the screen, and he hung on! Unbelievable play by McNeil! He knew the net was there, so he was able to fling himself into it and catch the ball before it got to the netting. So that's interesting. In this day and age where the netting is going to be almost at every ballpark, you can kind of use the netting like your Spider-Man. Showing off his Spidey sense. One, two, lifted right field side. Ryan Cordell at the line in the corner. He jumps against the net and makes the catch. Who needs Jeff McNeil when Ryan Cordell can do that for the home team? Well, that's just a great play, and that's what the net affords you. You don't want to be leaping into the stands like that. But with the net there, why not give it a shot? Flying Ryan. He measures it. He sees exactly where he is, and... And then a little trampoline effect back into the field of play. Nice job. And this one heading out to left center. Robles. Oh my goodness. Full speed ahead. Diving. And when the smoke clears, he's got the baseball. Oh my goodness. How about the White Sox fans? Listen to this. They're giving Victor Robles a standing ovation on the call on the road. Watch the effort by Robles. He outruns a baseball that lays out with the fence approaching. That's just desire and effort. A little bit of talent, too, at the speed, but fearless nature right there. Probably his best play as a big league outfielder. The pitch of the right hand batting record is at a tough night. He swings and hits one in the air to center. Jackie going back, back to the warning track by the wall. He jumps. He made the great catch. He took it off the center field wall. What a play by JBJ to retire the side. Wow, that looked like it had extra bases written all over it. The dead center field. What a play by Jackie Bradley up against the center field fence. Sensational. Well, he got his gold glove yesterday. He just showed you why. Wow. One out. 
Drive to left field. McKinney backing up. The ball is carrying right to the fence, and McKinney slams into the fence, but he holds on to the baseball. Boy, did he hit that fence hard. And he really got surprised when he hit that fence. I mean, he was in full stride. He yeah. made the catch and held on to it. Fearlessly went after that ball. This ball is going to be slicing and carrying to his glove side. And Billy goes right into that chain link fence in front of the bullpen. Welcome back a little flare. Canna hustling, Canna hustling, and instead it's going to be Matt Chapman. We should have known. Mark Canna had a long ways to run. Chapman, so did he, and Chapman got there first. Long run for everybody. Oh, man, what a play by Chapman. Are you kidding? That's the third baseman going out to get that. Matt Chapman going way out down the left field line to make the catch, and that will retire the side. Holy smokes, what a play. And the pitch. Swing and a drive in the center and deep and trouble came back. Warning track at the wall. He's got it. Lorenzo Kane does it again. I'm telling you, he ran a long way for that one. And as he banged into the wall, he caught it to retire the side. Lorenzo Kane runs another one down. What a play. I mean, that was some curly Neil Harlem Globetrotter stuff out there behind the second base bag. Yeah. Wong got the glove on the ball and just tapped it from the glove over to DeYoung. That was some slick, slick fielding. Roberto Alomar-esque. You're going to see every kid trying to do that double play. I have a feeling we're going to see that double play for the rest of the year. I mean, that was an absolute thing of beauty. The 0-1 is swung on, hammered. Deep right center field. On the run of the Indians, diving attempt by Allen. He made the catch! A sensational diving catch on the track in right center by the Indians right fielder, Greg Allen. Oh, he did his best Superman. Swung on, drilled to deep center. Back goes Mercado, leaping, diving grab. He made it. Everybody scrambles back. Nobody's able to tag or score. An incredible play by Oscar Mercado. How does he do it? He was racing back on a dead sprint on a laser, leaping and racing back at the same time to make the catch and falling to the turf. And here's the pitch on Mike Trout, and he blasts one deep out into left center field. Trout out here. Boy, Mike Trout soon to get that baseball looked up in section where all the wives are tonight, including Carly Skaggs, looked up. And what a shot that was for Trout. The Angels now are one out away from no hitting Seattle. Next delivery, it's grounded to Renhipo. Has the ball bounce away, recovers, throws, and the ball game is over. The Angels have no hit Seattle tonight here at the Big A on a night where the Angels honored Tyler Skaggs. He meant so much to us, and obviously, what a night, you know, honoring him, 45. Yeah, you know, with his with his mom here, Carly, uh, his whole family, friends, and in front of our you know home fans. Um, you know, this is definitely for him, and he's definitely, um, he was definitely watching over us tonight. Here's the pitch to Ozuna. He hits one to deep left field. Soto back on this one to the warning track at the wall, leaps, and he makes the catch. He robs him of a home run. Juan Soto goes back, shows the ball to his teammate Victor Robles. Leaping catch with the glove over the fence. Takes a home run away from Ozuna. What a play for Juan Soto. A home run robbing catch here in Pittsburgh. Very nonchalant as he made the catch like he'd done that a thousand times. Here we go again. Here we go again at the wall. And he leaps and he got it. Unbelievable. He's done it again. Albert Almora putting on a show in center. Man, oh man, what a 
play this is. This one I thought for sure would get out of here. And it, well, it almost was, but it was pulled back by Almora Jr. Perfectly timed. And oh my goodness, what a play that is. Spikes into the wall. The leap, the catch, the frustration. Top of the eighth, Davis. Fly ball, right field, Bellinger retreating. He's there, he'll make the catch for the second out. Pegging and going to third, and out at third base! An unbelievable throw by Bellinger! On the fly to third, and they get him! Gomez ahead first slide. And I believe the home plate umpire was saying that they negate the run at home plate, who did not score in time. One of the most unbelievable double plays in Dodger history. He oh is out. <laughs> no run and a double play. And a right fielder from another planet. All those guys pitch very deep in the game as J.D. Davis launches one deep to left field. That ball's got a chance. And Kuna Lee can try and he got it. Come on, Ronald, show us the ball. Oh, my goodness. Ronald Acuna Jr. with highway robbery of J.D. Davis. All right near the 385 side, he left off both feet and stuck his man over the yellow line atop the left center field wall. And caught it in the webbing of his glove and he came down into a crouch fell right on the seat of his pants. And the way he reacted initially, it seemed as though he didn't catch it. Sucked to left. Dylan Moore is able to make the catch! What an incredible play by Dylan Moore. Dylan, you may never have a better catch in your life. Holy smokes! What a catch by Dylan Moore! Robbing Pender and saving three runs for the King! Dylan Moore with a sensational running diving catch deep in left center. Robbing Chad Pender. Here's the pitch by Story. Fegley sets up outside. It's swung on, driven to center, well hit. Lariano going back, gets the track right to the wall. He's there, and he makes a phenomenal catch. Ramon Lariano with the robbery on a Wednesday afternoon. Racing back to the wall. Look at his foot as fast as he could go. Got a great break and reaching up. And I think that ball had a chance to go out. Lariano has done it again. That is a fair ball. Rochelle on balance. Wow, what a play. Whoa. Paxton applauds him. Yeah, don't blame him. I talked about his fielding skills. That was remarkable. Foot slipped from his knees. You don't work on this play in spring training. How about the accuracy of this throw? And with Betts running, the odds of them recording the outs seem small. And it looked like a nice pick on the other end. By Voigt. Yes. Just out of the reach of Simmons. That ball's going to fall in the center. Breaking for the plate. Throw by Trout. It's going to be in time to gun down the base runner, Muncie. Mike Trout throws a strike to home plate. Guns him down. The throw actually beats Muncie at home plate. The tag from Garneau is on that leg before the foot. What a throw right there by Mike Trout. It's a payoff. And a swing, and oh, what a catch, wow. Ryan Zimmerman, oh my goodness, what a play by Zimmerman. Leaving his feet, a headlong diving backhanded catch by 35-year-old Ryan Zimmerman, one away in the bottom of the eighth inning. Zimmerman was not guarding the line, and that's a good thing. Off the bat, that looked to be a hit, but Zimmerman elevated, laying out. He sticks the landing. Into the bat, backhanded flip, Simmons! Oh, goodness! Fletcher to Simmons, the pools! And a gorgeous double play ends the Tigers' seventh. That was sweet. That was baseball choreography at its best.
David Fletcher doesn't have the time to really get it to his hand. Flips it out of his glove. Angleton Simmons, to me, the best in the game of baseball. Takes it from there. And just to throw right on the money to Pujols, a beautiful double play. Slowly hit. Jacket. How did Nolan do that one? That looked like it was out of Cirque du Soleil. <laughs> it surprised everybody, including Cargo, because he didn't slide. That is remarkable. Well, this is a fearless play. Whether wow. it's a smart play or not, I don't know. This is Globetrotter stuff. I think everyone thought he was going to throw to first base, but he flipped that ball behind his back to the second baseman, McMahon. Two and two, with the bases loaded and one out. Oh my God! Deep to right field, way up there, and way out of here! Second deck walk-off home run! Grand slam, Bryce Harper! Wow! The Phillies have come from behind to win it 7-5! Six runs here in the bottom of the ninth inning. A remarkable come-from-behind victory. Here's the one two. Driven to center. Castro's got to hurry back. Got twisted around, but makes the oh, shoulder grab. Are you kidding me? And he makes a spectacular Willie Mays style play in deep center field. Makes the catch one step from the wall, bangs into the wall and hangs on. Incredible play by Harold Castro. Looked like he's been playing center field since birth. What a play by Harold Castro. Fly ball slicing down the left field line. Winker on the run. Did he? He no. did. He caught that ball. Unbelievable catch. That's beyond our view there. We couldn't see it. We had a look at it on TV, and that is about as good as you get. Winker, look at that. Right wow. before it hit the ground and before he made contact with the wall. Jesse. It was a tremendous sliding catch. Here's the wind and the pitch. Swung on, ripped. Deep center field. Back goes Allen. Still back. Leaps and made a great catch. Oh, what a play. Crashing to the turf. In front of the wall, just to the left of center. Running, leaping, dead sprint catch with his back to home plate, slamming into the turf and hanging on. What a play by Greg Allen in center field. Number 300, Garrett Cole becomes the third pitcher in Astros history to strike out 300 in a season. Garrett Cole, 300 strikeouts. First Astros pitcher to do that in 33 years. Garrett Cole waves his glove to the crowd, pats his right hand to his chest. What a moment. Three, two again. Swing and a miss, got him on the slider. Took him 10 pitches, but he gets his man. 15 strikeouts for Cole. That's a new Astros postseason record. Another look at this list. Cole is the seventh pitcher in Major League history to strike out at least 15 in a postseason game. Cole, Clemens, Messina, Colfax, Levon Hernandez. A lot of Hall of Famers on that list. That is pulled to the right side, stopped by Torres, throw to first, in time! What a play on both ends. Torres in short right, LeMahieu on the backhand. That time, Torres made the play deep on the grass in right field. He threw low, and LeMahieu scooped it up, and again, the Yankees deny the Twins. What a tremendous play. Smoked in the air toward right field. Jeff McNeil racing into the corner. Hobson with full extension makes the grab. He slams into the fence and collapses down on his right shoulder. He'll feel that one tomorrow, but he robs Donovan Solano with a spectacular catch. The fans applaud the visiting outfielder. It was that good. Jeff McNeil squirreling into the right field corner. 
An outstanding play by McNeil to rob Solano of an extra base hit. Oh, wow, what a play. The 2-0, and it's hit the air to left field. Gardner going back on the warning track near the wall, and he makes the catch. Brett Gardner with a leaping catch at the wall to rob Aviciel Garcia of a home run. That's a great call, Kenny, because he fooled me, too. I didn't think he got it. What wow. a play. Whoa. To a reach on a fielder's choice. First time up, a drive to center. Buxton going back, still going back. He's at the wall, leaps, and makes the catch! Byron Buxton! Wow, what a play. Oh, man. Byron Buxton proving yet again that the best center fielder on the planet is back. What a play from the finest center fielder in the game. Byron Buxton with a perfectly timed league to take extra bases away from Kristen Stewart. You're looking at one of the best center fields in baseball. I don't think there's no question about it. Again, the 2-2. In the air, center field. Kane on the run at the track. He makes the catch and pounds into the wall. And he felt that one. Man. Oh, my Word, what a catch by Kane. Yeah, that guy's something else. I mean, he does not shy away from the fence. He says he's all right. He caught it right as he got to the wall, hit it, down he went, and uh, down he stayed. I mean, he was reaching as far as he could and caught it and hit the wall. Well, here comes the door. We know that Rugi can be aggressive down there, and with the left-hander, Brookter on the mound, paying him absolutely no attention, Rugi got aggressive. There's a look. Watch this. He did this before he even came set. Why did he do that? Because he watched Ryan Bookter take his time after he came set, so what Rugi decided to do was take off as soon as he lifted up. Uriel stunts off third, he takes off! Here comes a pitch from Sale, and it's to the backstop, and Lourdes Guriel steals home! A straight steal of home plate for Lourdes Guriel! And the Blue Jays are up 5-2. Chris Sale with his back to the runner at third, pitching from the windup. Guriel was having no attention paid to him. And he stunted and stunted, and then he just took off and Sale tried to make a good pitch for a tag, tried to go outside, and just threw it to the backstop. This 0-2 pitch, scorched to Lindor, what a play! They get the force at second. My goodness, a wicked smash, and Lindor picked it off, one away. How about the lead to Kipnis when he was on the ground? He throws it before Kipnis is even there, and he just gets to the bag to get the lead runner. What a beautiful play that was. That is in there for strike three. Sits him down and struck him out. Well, he's off to the races. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. What a brilliant start for Chris Sale. He has struck out the first six Rockies. That was a devastating slider in under Woo. the hands, and that's the tenth strikeout for Sale. For the fourth time in his career, Woo. Chris Sale has a 15 strikeout game. Here's the Rock and the one, two. Playing it a miss, strike three. Chris Sale with a career high 16 strikeouts now. He got him. Number 17 for Chris Sale. One of the great pitching performances of this or any year, frankly, in Chris Sale tonight. Swing and a miss. He got him. Strikeout number 3,000 for CC Sabathia. There's history. 3,000 strikeouts for CC Sabathia. He does it with a swinging strike three of John Ryan Murphy for the final out of the second inning. All the Yankee players out in front of the dugout applauding. Just the 17th pitcher in baseball history to reach 3,000 strikeouts and only the third lefty. Looking for one more out to put win number 75 in the column for this ball club. 
Line out towards Echeverria, diving stop, throw to first from his seat of his pants in time. Wow. What a play to finish up the ball game. Braves saved the best defensive play for the last play. What an incredible play by Echeverria to take away a hit and end this game. Wow, an 11 on the degree of difficulty on that baby. It was by him. Yeah, we saw Ozzy make a play similar in his home stand on ball that was by him. Boy, just to get to that ball and then make a strong throw from your backside, that was oh, heck of a way to end the game right there. What a play. Julio Teran loves it. Mike Soroka, too. Dansby Swanson says, yeah, baby, what a way to end it. Bounced up the middle. Vargas smothers it. One, two. El Demaro Vargas, what a play. He wasn't even in the original starting lineup, filling in for the injured Nick Ahmed. Just a glove flip onto Wilmer Flores, who completed that double play. If you're going to fill in for Nick Ahmed, you better make plays like this. Outstanding. Wilmer with the bare hand to fire onto Walker to complete the double play. Here's the pitch. This is hit well in the center field. Trout is going back. He's out on the warning track. He jumps up and he takes a home run away. One MVP takes one away from another. Robs him of a home run. And Trout absolutely loves to do this. He timed everything perfect. This ball's going to leave the ballpark. Yelich gets his change of hits it a bomb. And it's a mile high. Trout times everything perfectly. Leaps up, brings it back, has a big smile on his face. Christian Yelich takes his helmet off and tips it to Trout. What a pitch pulled to third sharply. It is a fair ball. Diving play by Chapman from foul territory. Throws low. Dug by Matt Olson. Matt to Matt. Goal to goal. And Hanniger is out to start the inning. A magnificent play at both ends. It's hard to say this because there have been so many great plays. That might have been the best of all of them. Like you said, describing it, full out dive, and the ball actually was behind him. It was back past him as he back into the ball and then coming up in from foul territory. I mean, that that's as good a play as you'll ever see a third baseman make. Little flat ball. That is trouble. Michael Bradley step into the spotlight. Dodgers with a 10 to 4 lead and Blackman with a fly ball to right field. Peterson's going back to the wall. Leaps and he makes the catch against the wall and crashes into it. He robs Blackman of a home run just to the right of the bullpen gate. A spectacular catch by Jock Peterson. Well, that was just a terrific effort. He knew that he was going to, to venture into a, a hard terrain area, that being the wall. Oh, it is padded before he came to a sudden stop. That was just a terrific effort. Two run home run earlier tonight. He drives one to right field, setting Reddick back. He's at the wall. He jumps. He makes a tremendous catch. He runs a three run home run. Two scurries back to third. Reddick. I cannot believe how well he timed that up to make a play. What an absolutely incredible play by Josh Reddick. That is one of the best catches you will see the entire season. That is right there with the Jackie Bradley Jr. saving catch last night. Here comes the 2-2 two -two pitch. The swings and whacks one in the air to deep left center field. Kiermaier running out of room and the warning check jumps up on the wall and did he hold it? Way he did. It's a tremendous catch for Kevin Kiermeyer. Garcia goes all the way over from right field to congratulate him on that. I'm stunned right now, and I've seen some amazing plays from Kevin Kiermeyer. This right here might be the best catch I have ever seen him make. Look at this. Look at that catch holding on to the ball after you crash into the wall that hard. That's something special. Now the 2 2. Swing and a high fly ball. Right center field and deep. Kiermaier going back. He's at the wall. Jumps up and makes a spectacular catch. Crashes into the wall and holds on. 
And Kiermaier went into that wall hard, but held on and took away maybe a home run from Mejia. What a spectacular catch. Oh, my. KK with a gold glove type catch out there in center. One of my better catches, the deg degree of difficulty, that was um, really tough because usually when I jump, I'm, I'm pretty confident and, you know, going up there. But that the play was uh, pretty quick to me, to be honest. And uh, I always say if you want this elite interpretation, you got to make elite plays. And I think that was an elite play. And, you know, still I was trying to make a case that um, I just don't think anyone else can do what I can do out there. It's just another one and the old uh, another notch in the belt. This guy's been pretty special to watch this year. High fly ball in the center field. This one is back at the wall, and it's gone. A new rookie single season home run king as Pete Alonso moves past Aaron Judge and stands alone with 53 home runs in his rookie season. As Pete Alonso has done what no rookie in Major League Baseball history has ever done. Yelich waiting in the pitch. Fly ball to right center field. Bellinger to the track, to the wall. He leaps and makes the catch. Is there anything Bellinger can't do? Robbing Christian Yelich. Well, that's really good against really good right there. Yep, he got under it, and Bellinger did a good job getting right back to the wall, and that jumped straight up. Yep, it would have been out, and Bellinger pulls one back on Christian Yelich. Here comes the 0-2 pitch, the set ready, and it swung on a five ball, popped in a short left, Galvis going out, and over the shoulder, and he makes an unbelievable barehanded play. Freddie Galvis makes a barehanded grab! Out of nowhere, Freddie Galvis going back from short makes a spectacular defensive play. Fly ball hit back into center field. Lorenzo Kane measuring it up. He goes! Oh my goodness! What a catch! Oh my! He just tops himself night after night as he robs Todd Frazier. Not today once again Lorenzo Kane he went up and over that orange line and brought another one back holy cow Lorenzo 3-2 is hit high in the air to center field this one hit well Pilar back at the wall Pilar scales the wall reaches up and Kevin Pilar catches it he climbed the wall and hung there and pulled it back from way on top of center field. Oh my God, wow. what a catch out there by Pilar. He just took away Nick Senzel's first major league home run. And Senzel thinking they don't do that in the SEC and they don't do that at AAA. Holy Moses, what a play that was. Way up in the air, deep toward the pole. Who got it? Oh, Gerard Dyson. A two for one up against the wall in right center. Highway robbery in deep right center field. Tim Lo Castro and Gerard Dyson converge. They both jumped for the ball, and one of them got it. Dyson just out jumped Lo Castro and took a home run away from Jock Peterson. Now 3 2 ground ball staying fair. Backhand Matty. Side on throw wow. from foul territory. My God. Matty, this one on a close game is your best as a Padre. And you've made those a gazillion times of Baltimore. We saw them. Have mercy. I can't do nothing but laugh at that play right there because. He literally made it look like a routine play. Manny being Manny. Come on! And look at how accurate he is with the throw. Swing a fly ball, right center field and deep. Back it goes near the wall. That ball will be caught by Bradley up against the padding in wow. right center field. Jackie wow. Bradley Jr. made a wonderful play. Up against the padding in right center field. And Bradley, who has had some big plays at target field in the past, does it again. Jackie Bradley, Jackie Bradley, Jackie Bradley. What a catch. 
That outstanding play again by the center fielder going all the way up against the wall to Rob Polanco of extra bases. 1-1. One, one. That's bounced left side deep in the hole. Love by Correa. Throws from the outfield press and a hop. And out of first. What a play by Correa. He was a couple of steps onto the outfield grass. His momentum carrying him away from the infield. And he was still able to throw out a sliding Diaz. How's that to start the ball game? Power threat off the bench for the Cardinals, and there's a fly ball and back in the deep right center field. Lorenzo Kane at the wall. Lorenzo Kane to end the game. It didn't take long, did it? Didn't take long. Game one, he saved the game. That would have been a homer. Fly ball, right center on the warning track at the wall, leaping and caught by Lorenzo Kane, and this one is over. the wall and deep is right center. What a finish. Here's the pitch by Fires, and it's a swing and a pop up. Short right, a long run. Profar going out, still going out, has a play, diving, and he corrals it. Sensational catch. Down the right field line, Biscotti wasn't going to get there. Olsen going out from first, and Jurex and Profar made the best catch he's made as an athletic. You're not the only one who knows exactly what's going on on that scoreboard. Everybody on the field is in sellout mode. You can see Profar ranging hard and far to his left. And Mikey, he's a fan. Two outs, here's Joey Votto. Votto in the air, center field. Laureano back, Laureano at the wall. He leaps and he caught it! He did it again! This one takes a home run away and keeps a no-hitter going. Back-to-back -back unbelievable plays. You'll never see two better plays in sequence than that. <laughs> Lariano racing toward left center, just to the right of the 388 mark, and full extension, as high as he could go, backhands the ball over the wall and brings it back. Ready. Here's the turn, the kick, and the 2-2 delivery is swung on and missed on a breaking ball in the dirt. And Mike Byers has thrown his second no-hitter. Tonight he no-hits the Cincinnati Reds. Sensational performance by the A's right-hander, Mike Byers. Wow. Simply incredible. An amazing effort by Mike Byers and Josh Begley tonight. Behind the and on the mound, that battery was supercharged. Here's the 2-2. Breaking ball, strike three, call on the inside corner. Frozen with the hook and eight no-hit innings. Astros nothing, Blue Jays nothing. 1-1. One, one. Toro lines it pretty deep to left field. It sends back Drury, still going back, looking up. See you later! See you later! A go-ahead, two-run home run! Toro's second Major League home run, and by far his biggest hit in the Major Leagues. Verlander trying to become the first pitcher ever to no-hit the same team in their building. Ground ball to third. Toro is there. His throw in time! Justin Verlander! Another exclamation point in a Hall of Fame career. Altuve has just sent the Astros to the World Series. How many big hits, how many big home runs here at home for Jose Altuve? In his time with the Astros, he is a hero tonight, and the Astros win this ALCS in six games. Fly ball, deep left, back goes J.D. Davis, still going back, it's over his head, and he unbelievably made the catch! He literally just threw his glove out there and it went in it.
<laughs> oh boy. He is living right. <laughs> look at him. He that look is like I can't believe I caught that ball. I'm not sure that he knew he was going to catch that ball but he stuck out his glove and there was that little pearl. Oh my. Then that one JD you can look up on the scoreboard and check that out. Boy oh boy what a nice catch. Albert Almora Jr. in center. Here comes the 1 1 from Mills. Fly ball deep right center off the bat of Votto. Going back toward the track is Almora on the track. Slides and makes a sensational catch. What a play by Albert Almora Jr. After a long run of about 110 feet, he slid on the warning track, slid up against the wall, somehow made the catch. You won't see a better play if you watch a hundred games. This is line the opposite way of base hit. Soto's going to at least get to third. If they score, Henley's going to wave it home. The throw by Harper to the plate on one hop. He is out at the plate. What a throw by Bryce wow. Harper. Wow, was that a cannon from Bryce in right center field. I don't know if you're going to find a more accurate arm in the National League right now than what we've seen from Bryce this year. He has been absolutely amazing. There's a shot pass first. Way down the line. That'll bring in another run. Troy is in the score. Garcia digging for third. Here's the long, long throw and the tag. And he is out at third. Mookie Betts guns him down. A long distance heave to nail him at third base. What a chuck by Mookie. <laughs> he knew he was coming off the wall. He played it perfectly and a great throw. Goodness. The 2 1. Kepler lines that in the air to left center. Hicks on the run. Dives. And he made the catch. He made the play. Oh my goodness. What a catch from Aaron Hicks to end it. 14 12 the final on a sensational leaping. Lunging grab and a fitting finish to an unforgettable night. Breathes out and throws. Line drive to the gap, right center. On the move, Kiermaier, he can't get it. It short hops the wall. Plays the caramel, two bit of third is being waved. Adamas with a relay. Here's the throw. Jarno's got it. He is out at home play. What a relay by Willie Adamas, and it started with a great throw by Kiermaier. Kiermaier to Adamas to Darno. I mean, this is a perfect relay by Kiermaier. Hits Adamas chest high, and he makes the perfect throw to Travis Darno. And you know what? The Houston Astros just may have run themselves out of an inning. Kelly is ready to wind up and the 0 1 pin. Third ball swinging a hot shot, one hopper, dive each stop to his right. JP Crawford, the throw to first, and he got him. Holy smokes, what a play by Crawford! Dive into his right, a hot one hopper. He lands on the grass in shallow left field. Somehow, some way, he was able to get to it. Pops up, wheels around, and throws a strike to Austin Nola. What a play by J.P. Crawford. Fly ball deep to center field. Jonathan Davis racing. Two runs for Chet Thornton. And his speed allowed him to run it down. And then the leap, and he made the catch on the warning track in the deepest part of his field. Carrying well. Jonathan Davis on the run. Dives, and he makes the catch. Holy cow! Jonathan Davis springs out of the turf, yelling off into the distance because he makes the highlight reel of all highlight reel catches. What a diving grab made by Jonathan Davis. Robles sends one to deep left center. Jacoby Jones drifting over. Leaps. Oh, he got it. He got it. Are you kidding me? Oh, highway robbery at Comerica Park. That may be the best catch that I've seen any Tiger make here at this ballpark. He climbed the wall, went up into the bullpen, and kept it in his glove. Look at that. Full extension. Jones. Oh, my <laughs> God. Wow. 2-0. Fly ball, center field. 
Back Kane, warning track, wall jumps. Did he catch it? He caught it! Lorenzo Kane caught another one! If you thought the first one was great, how about that, folks? He went up and over the fence and brought it from the pine trees. Day after day, Kane is making plays. And hey. once again, he says, not today. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ball in the end of center field. Egg ball's hit deep, going back at the wall, up, and a great catch! Austin Hayes robs him of a home run, and Guerrero takes his cap off and raises it high, saluting Hayes. Oriole fans, there is your center fielder of the future. Well, you may not see a better play than this the rest of the year in all of baseball. Austin Hayes has been a difference maker all year long on defense. My man went and got him some right here. Look at the reaction. Let's go. Bound the chest a couple times. I like that. Unbelievable play right there. Eerily similar. Same spot. Nearly the chosen the same one. spot. Mike you Trout. Are, you are right. What a catch. Okay, Oscar Hernandez at the plate. The pitch to him is swung on a high fly ball, left center field. Loriano's now going back. He's still going back. He's near the wall. He caught it. He caught it. He fires it back in. Now Hundley grabs it. The throw to second base. And maybe the greatest double play you've ever seen. That ball was well over the yeah. center field wall when Loriano took it back. You factor in the breeze and the high sky and Loriano got right to the wall and as high as he could go. I mean as high as he could go. I didn't think he had any shot at catching that ball. That's going to be an eight to two to six double play. That ball is tagged right field back warning track at the wall up and oh he caught it he caught it unbelievable catch stevie wilkerson one of the greatest catches you will ever see spectacular catch i can't believe that wow oh my goodness you've got to be kidding me for out number three and game number 162 Fly left center deep. Jackie Bradley racing back all the way to the wall, leaping up. And Jackie oh Bradley, my God. oh, he made the play. He caught it. It was gone, but he caught it. Climbing the wall with a brilliant play. Spectacular play. This is magnificent. Game saving, spectacular play by Bradley Jr. The game was over. Will Smith will face Will Smith. The veteran left-hander, the 25-year-old catcher for the Dodgers. And a high fly ball to left. Back at the wall, it is gone. Will Smith, the biggest swing of his young career. And the Dodgers jump on top, four to two, here in the sixth. Chapman's got it. He gets up. His throw in time. Now Chapman saves the ball game for the Athletics with a diving play to his left. A spectacular play by the ace Platinum Glover in third base and just at the right time. This ball sent into left center field. That ball could be trouble. Straw on the move and what a catch by Miles Straw. Laying out onto the warning track. The speedy center fielder robs Varsho on a great defensive play. It was a phenomenal play by Miles Strzok. Got a decent jump and all of a sudden turned on the afterburners to go and accelerate through that catch. That was beautifully done. Fly ball well hit center. Robles going back to the track to the wall and it's gone. Dance me with a walk off homer up on these Braves they do it again a four run bottom of the ninth and the Braves take game one from Washington.
swings at the first pitch and hits it deep to center field. Hicks back. He's on the track. Near the wall. Leaps. And he makes the play. Took an extra base hit away from Darneau. Off the bat, you think it had a chance. So much for the courtesy pitches to start the game, huh, Coney? Two hard hit balls, but a good play by Hicks. That's a home run. He doesn't make that catch that's over the wall. So Hicks just saved two runs on that play. Correa has been the hottest Astro hitter in this postseason. And he sends one to center field. Kiermaier on the run. He lays out and makes another great catch. Oh, my goodness. Kevin Kiermaier with another run-saving grab. This one in right center field as he takes away a base hit from Correa. And he strands a couple of more Houston Astro base runners. Center field and deep. Robert going back, leaping, and he does not make the play and crashes into the fence. Buxton, who nearly had an inside the park home run last night, will have one tonight. Byron Buxton off the center field fence. His ninth home run of the year. He hit second base, and then all of a sudden that elite speed kicked in. And I was saying get on base to provide a spark, but that's about as big a spark as you could provide right there. Pitch to Seeger, flared towards third, back in, he just, Wendell turned from foul ground to first, it's high, the tag on Seeger, he is out. Jimon Choi with a spectacular play to jump up and come down with the glove on charging Seeger to retire the side. Another great play by Jimon Choi. Well, he's athletic, he moves around over there, comes off the bat, goes up in the air, takes the throw from Joey Wendell, and applies the tag. Hit high in the air, Kinder toward the line, still going toward the line. Ooh. And did he caught it? He oh. did catch it. Oh, what a tremendous play by Chad Pitt. Man, that was a great, great play. He was running full exactly. steam exactly. and just stuck his glove up. Randy and Rosarina home run tied it for the Rays after the Yankees scored in the first. On the ground, there's Urshel again, lays out and throws him out from the seat of his pants. Oh, Gio Urshela. These defensive gems are going to start popping up on all the highlight reels. Well, he's always been a defensive whiz. Comfortable throwing the ball from odd angles. The 1 pitch is a curveball lifted in the air. Right center field. Gritchick on the run with a diving grab. What a play for Randall Gritchick. A headlong dive into the left center field gap. It deserved a standing ovation. He just robbed extra bases from Brett Gardner. And that was one of his best defensive plays of the year. Got a fastball inside at 95. Went out way out there, man. If that's fair, it's gone. Hey, another right field line in the corner in a running grab. I don't see anybody in the corner. Yes! Over the shoulder. How he saw it, I do not know. And just kept on running in the foul territory. Manny the Magician! How does he catch this ball? The flash look. Oh my goodness. The Wide shift. receiver back corner of the end zone. <laughs> Touchdown! To center field, Victor Reyes. And did he make the Yes, catch? he did! Victor Reyes stole a home run away from Miguel Sano. Perfect timing, and Reyes keeps it tied at two. He was right there, and he used every inch of that 6-4 frame to take a ball that was heading over the fence and bring it back. Ramirez in the air. The door ready to tag. This should be fun. Hayward cranks it up. And he's got a bang. Out at the play. What a throw. Jason Hayward, the gold glover. All the way on the fly. Garatini caught it and slapped the tag. Perfect throw by Hayward from medium deep right field. And he come back being down in the count. Looks like he is going to retire him if somebody gets out there. There's Key Brian Hayes racing. Oh, look at Key Brian Hayes. Make it look easy, too. I mean, he made that play look routine. He was about five steps from being at the outfield wall. And he made the catch over the shoulder to end the inning. And this could be a double play ball. Oh, what a flip by Hanson. 
How good was that? In the same motion, he fielded it. He flips to Story, and it turns into a real easy 4-6-3. Come on, that is not an easy play, folks. And then Trevor's got the easy part just to make that, that throw to first base. Drive out to yeah. left field, going back on it is Markakis, it is gone! A three-run walk-off home run for Scott Kingry. Here in the bottom of the 11th inning, down to two strikes. And he let it rip, 7-4 the final score. Celebration 2020 style. The Orioles already have a dozen hits in this game. And that's hooked in the air to left. A long run for McNeil toward the line, and he made the catch. Oh, wow, what a play by McNeil. Crashing into the sidewall after reeling that ball in after a very long run. Difficult play for McNeil and a big out for Hughes. He misses this ball. It might be a triple. Who knows? But nice play by Jeff. Third time this year, the Phillies have gone back to back with home runs. If two's good, three's better. Yeah, it is. That one's hit well out to right field. Conforto turns. It's gone. Back to back to back. Three is better. And the Phillies tie it up here in the bottom of the first inning. That is caught. Unbelievable double play. And the inning is over. Oh, my God. Zanino can't believe it. Oh, doctor. Zanino couldn't have hit the ball any harder. Gonzalez picked it out of the air and hopelessly and helplessly doubled at second base with Brasso. The inning is over. The 3-2. Bogart swings, hits this one down the right field line, starting to slice on Tondere, goes up and makes the catch in the corner right around Pesky's pole as he possibly takes a home run away from Xander Bogarts. An incredible play by Santander. That thing was gonna get out, don't you think, Joe? I think it would've gone. It would've gone uh, just over the wall. And then they made a good stop. Swing and a pop up the center. The carry back on it is Loriano checks the wall, jumps at the wall, and he brought it back. Loriano saves it yet again. It seemed off the bat that Goodwin didn't get it that well, but today the ball with the crazy carry, Ramon stays with it, scales the wall, and steals the home run from Goodwin. Whoo! The one-two on the way to belt. Here she comes, swinging. It's popped up on the. Third base side over is Kyle Seeger, way down the line, and he reaches out and he makes the catch. Holy smokes, what a catch by Kyle Seeger. Had to reach quickly to his right. Long run to his right onto the one-eight track and reaching out to make the catch for the second out of the inning. Here's Jamer Candelario. Oh, and he my. launches one to left. That ball's deep. That ball's gone. Are you kidding me? No, this is incredible. Four of the first five batters for the Tigers have homered off Derek Holland. Stunning. I've never seen anything like this. I'm in shell shock. Diving stop, Carpenter gets up. Oh, what a play, Matt Carpenter. The diving stop, the third base line, and a strike to Goldschmidt to rob. Salvador Perez. And with two on and nobody out, Brian Anderson will be the batter. And he's had two home runs in this game. Now facing a position player with two on, nobody out. He's got a shot at a third. Andy with the fly ball out to left field. Did he do it again? Back goes Soto. Gone! Three homer day for Brian Anderson. Made it over the wall by a whisker. Yeah, it sure did. B.A. just unloads, gets a pitch at the top of the zone. Here's a pick. Turner from his knees. What a play. Wow, from Justin Turner, one out in the sixth inning. I thought he might even throw one hopper, but he got it in the air. Well, he was like, yeah, baby. Got him easy. Now 
Down the line in right, Cole Calhoun's got it! Cole Calhoun, what a catch! The Buckeye and Valley native, welcome to Chase Field. He's made more catches with a dive than he has standing on his feet so far this year. Boy, if that gets by him, there's a chance to run score on that play. Cole Calhoun with the play of the game so far. Cespedes is 0 for 2 in his return. And he drives one deep left field, headed back toward the wall. That ball is out of here! You win is Cespedes! More than two years on the sidelines. He's back with a home run. And the Mets lead it 1 0 in the seventh. Yoannis Cespedes, the Mets have waited long and anxiously for his return. And he shows why he can be such a force as he clobbers one into the lower seats in left field, and the Mets lead it 1 0. High fly ball into deep right center into that jet stream. Al Moore leaps and he made the catch. What a grab! Just below the basket, Albert Al Mora Jr. robs Morrison of an extra base hit. Playing a little game of anything you can do, I can do better with Ian Happ. Happ <laughs> made the spectacular play earlier, and Al Mora pins himself up against the wall. Great play. Wow, that is a great play. Line drive, diving catch, J.P. Crawford put it to the books. Taking a hit away well, from Alex Bregman. Yeah, we've been talking about the defense and full extension on this line drive. Great first step to get there and being able to make this play. I wasn't sure he was going to be high enough to catch it. Makes away another hit. Crawford has really played well at shortstop. Here is Higgy, and Higashioka has two homers, his second and third. High fly ball by Higashioka deep to right field. Oh yes, Higgy does it three times. Another home run for Higashioka, and it's 13 to one Yankees. He can't help but smile. Three home runs for Higgy. What a night! Fly ball to left. It well. Akiyama's back at the wall. Leaps into the fence, and he made the catch. What a play by Shogo Akiyama. And that guy has absolutely no fear. Full speed into the screen off the wall and comes up with it. How about that? Tremendous catch by the first year Red. That has a big impact on this game. Hard hit. Turner! But there's no play at home. Oh, how about a double play? 6-4-3. One of the great double plays you'll ever see. With the infield drawn in, a diving stop by Turner to his left, able to get to his knees and flip it to Castro, and the ball hit so hard, plenty of time to turn an inning ending 6 4 3 double play. Swing and a high fly ball. That's one up deep left. Ronald Acuna Jr. Bat flip, it's bombs away. 1 0. Our leadoff home run. Hey, man, that was. Loud. That, that ball was loud. That was smoked. Can't blame him for firing that one. The longest home run of the year. 495 foot home run. In the air center field. That's well hit. Ender going back to the wall. Leaping. Try. He got it. Great catch by NCRT. And Soroka's pumped up. Davis thought he got it. The park just big enough to hold it. And that's the second out. You've seen him do this time and time again. He gets back to the wall, finds his place, times his jump perfectly. In the air to right center field, Roman Quinn speeding back. So is Kingry. He jumps oh. and makes the catch. What a play by Scott Kingry. He went up onto the fence and pulled it in. Ooh, that one hurt too. I mean, you talk about going full bar into a fence. What a heck of a play. And that one hit hard. What a play at second base by Alvarez. They get one. They will only get one. But that also, in all likelihood, keeps another run from getting on the board. Yeah, this was almost a spectacular double play. I mean, you watch the quickness. We talk about it all the time. A step and a just full extension dive in the hole. Wow, what a play.
This one goes the other way. Yastrzemski on the move. Ball starting to carry. And Yastrzemski makes the catch! Up against the wall to take extra bases and a run away from the D-backs. What a great play. Unbelievable great play as he goes up, takes on the wall. You got three home runs hit in this inning. Well, let's make it four. <laughs> in the air left field, Eloy Jimenez to the line and gone again. Four in a row and a seven nothing lead. Four straight home runs. Smiles everywhere and tatters of baseballs all over. This one rifle to center. That is blasted. Jones drifting back and he's got it right at the wall. Oh, Jacoby oh. Jones put that one on the highlight reel. Oh my. I loved it. He turned his back to the ball knowing he had to get back to the warning track or the fence and he picked it up again. That's a hard thing to do. A tremendous effort and catch right there by Jacoby Jones. Uh -oh. Left field and deep. Going back his cave at the wall, leaping. Oh! And he made the catch! J.K. with a great catch at the wall. Taking a three-run home run away from Whit Merrifield. What a catch by Jake Cave. That's a tremendous catch. Ball hit a fly ball to center his first time. Up. Swings and lines one to right. He's tailing away from Harper. He'll dive and make the catch. Bryce Harper lunging to take that one just off the turf. Outstanding play by Bryce Harper. It starts with getting a great jump, but boy, he stayed with it, makes a terrific play. Gibson comes home. Bellinger swings. It's a fly ball to right field. Gallo's going back out of room and gone. And the Dodgers have hit more home runs in August of 2020 than any National League team has ever hit in any month. Cody Bellinger, a large part of that parade. And this ball blasted out to center. Robles, and he caught it. Took a steep route to it. Now he launches a throw to first. Look at that throw. That's a 300-foot throw to first base for an 8-3 double play. Are you kidding me? Did we just see that right? That one is almost impossible to believe. It's a highlight you'll be seeing all night long and maybe for days to come. He is hit in the air and hit well. Right center field. Acuna on his horse. Lays out and makes a great catch. Sliding across the wet outfield grass after he hung on. What a play by Ronald Acuna. Took an extra base hit away from Bryce Harper for the second time in this game. Here's Red Snyder. Taiwan's out there to pitch. Swing and a ground ball. J.P. Crawford dives. Smothers flips it out of his glove. On to Shedlong. Anchored at second. He puts the leather on it and it ends the inning. Tremendous play by J.P. Crawford. And it gets Taiwan Walker out of six. Brilliant innings tonight in Arlington. To the seventh. 4-1 Mariners. Here's Dickerson. Dickerson's got two home runs, a double, and a strikeout. Dickerson goes the other way, hit well. It is out of here. He's got a three homer game. He's got three more RBIs. Have a night. Wow. First pitch. Line to left field. Taylor is there, makes the catch. Here's the throw to the plate. It is there, and the game is over. Chris Taylor ends the night with an outfield assist from left. And the Dodgers take the series from the Padres. That feels just as good as a walk-off home run for Chris Taylor, a walk-off assist. And Rosario clocks one deep left field. Back goes Gardner at the wall. It's out of here! Ahmed Rosario 
gives the Mets the win with a two run homer. The Mets first ever doubleheader sweep against the Yankees and after the Mets rallied from four runs down to win the first game they rally in their final turn at bat in the nightcap and win it in walk off fashion on the road. Adam the ball. Yep. Another chance for a three homer game. Look he's got the two run over. He's got the three run over. Fly ball. Hammer deep left. It's a grand slam for Adam Duvall. I can't believe it. Well Chip now he's a 24th player in MLB history. A two run a three run and a grand slam home run and the Braves have scored 29 times. Bloop to short left, and out goes Tatis to make the catch up into the air like Superman. It's Fernando Tatis Jr. How about going and getting it in short left field for Tatis? I thought he had no chance at this. Oh my God. Come on, nobody does that. And here it comes, swung on and hit up the middle. Shed long backhand, flips to J.P. Crawford, throws. And that's a double play. Are you kidding? That was gorgeous. Shed Long going towards left field, flipped it to JP, coming across the back. He got up in the air, threw a one hopper to Evan White, dug it out for the double play, inning over. Wow. That is one of the best highlights you're going to see. Has some power, and that one driven deep. Racing back, Pilar, and he makes a oh. leaping catch, and up against the bullpen fence. Well, that's the kind of defense you're going to see from him. Red Sox have seen it against them for years. Yeah, we've talked about it many times. You know, we saw it up in Toronto for years. It's a cut fastball on the outside part of the plate. And I wasn't sure Pilar was going to be able to come up with this. I thought it might be out of the ballpark. But he backtracks beautifully, crashes into the wall, and holds on to the baseball. Terrific outfielder. Against all odds is a high fly ball driven deep to right. Verdugo back to the pen. Leaps up. He oh. caught it. He caught the ball. He oh. took it back. Oh what my a God. night. What a night. <laughs> He's doing everything right now. Hitting home runs. Playing a little defense. Gets back to the wall. Braces himself. Times his leap. And pulls it back in. Oh, is he loving that? That's driven deep down the left field line toward the stage. It's down the hill. Peter Rose wins it with a walk on two run homer in the bottom of the 10th. And the Mets yank it out 9 to 7. One big swing by Pete, and the Mets win in walk on fashion. Coming from behind twice. Tyler Alexander has struck out the first eight batters he has faced. The 2-2, swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. My goodness. Nine in a row, and even oh. Tyler Alexander can't hide the smile on his face. The record goes to Tyler Alexander, and since 1974, no reliever has ever done what he just did. So back to the top of the order to Ronald Acuna. In case you're just now tuning in, he hit two home runs in game one of the doubleheader today pitch high fly ball center Robles on the run he's gonna turn he's gonna admire it that ball is over the bullpen and gone another homer for Acuna no need for titleist on that baby it was hit out of a cannon his third home run of the day welcome back this is a tough chance for no oh my oh <laughs> man where do you rank that one, everyone? <laughs> Go ahead and hashtag that one, Nolan being Nolan. What's unbelievable about this is as soon as he catches it, it's almost gone in the same motion. And by the time Nola gets over there, one, two. He was out by two steps. And he hits a high drive to deep left field down towards the pole. That ball is up and it is gone on top of the Western Metal Supply Company building. Fernando Tatis Jr. has left the field literally. That's a blast. Up on the roof. You think he's happy LJ Newsom's out of the ball game? I would say so. On the ground, 
deep in the hole. Story from his knees out at first base. What a play by Trevor Story. As good as it gets. Do it, Trev. Well, first you're thinking, oh, hopefully he can just get to it. Well, he does more than that. He gets to it and then throws from his knees. I also like the other play over at first base by Josh. Hey, not good. Great play. This ball is sliced to right center. Robert lays out. Oh, no, he didn't. Outrageous 88. That was as good as it gets. This is slicing away from him into right center field. The flat out dive in the glove securely. I mean, you play that forward, that, that could very easily be a game saver for the Sox tonight. There's no doubt about it. It's also a one pitch out, which is exactly what you're looking for. Here we go, bottom of the ninth, bases loaded. High fly ball, deep right center field, oh, and this yeah. one is a walk-off yeah. grand slam. Yeah. That'll work as well. A walk-off grand slam from Charlie Blackman, his second grand tour of the year. Touch him all time. Breaking ball hit pretty well to left center field on the run and making the catch at the wall. Garrett Hampson takes a home run away. What a play by Hampson to race back, put the glove above the yellow line. <laughs> Garrett's not the tallest guy, but he elevated perfectly and hauled it in. Wow, what a play. And Ozuna's up with a two homer night. High towering fly ball, deep center, make it a three homer night. Wow, over the batter's eye in straightaway center. I don't know how far that one went, but each one keeps getting longer than the one before. If he gets another at bat, he's definitely going 600 feet on one. <laughs> another chance for the Astros. Now the 1-1 one -one pitch. Here's a swing, and he popped him up. Down the right field line, will it stay in play? Drifting over, Margot into foul territory near the sidewalk, makes the catch. Flips over the wall, did he hold on? Yes, he did! What a catch in right field by Manuel Margot. Oh, my! That was a hard end over end tumble. What a catch by Margot. Mike Trout is the batter. And next home run will be home run number 300. This is out toward right field. Going back on his Tucker. He's watching it go, that is gone! Career home run number 300 for Mike Trout. And he sits atop the Angels home run leaderboard all by himself. Congrats to Mike Trout, number 300. Impressive. And it brings up Trent Grisham. What a job he's done. Two home runs in this game. Fly ball left field, back goes Stubbs at the wall. Three home runs tonight for Trent Grisham. Six for the Padres. Padres take a 12-2 lead. This is a two-run shot for Trent Grisham and a three-home run night for the Padres center fielder. Have a night in the big leagues, Trent Grisham. To third. It'll be a tough play for Ramirez. He gets the throw away, and what a job! Oh, baby! That is an unbelievable play by Jose Ramirez from way in foul territory. He spun and got off a perfect high arcing throw to nab here for out number two. You'll never see a better play than the one right here going over the base. Great play. Bieber loved it. And now the man of the hour. Three run shot in the third. Solo shot in the sixth. Oh, did he get another one? Suarez number three of the night. How about you, Suarez? Mercy! Lock in. This one's launched toward left. Drifting back to the wall. He's gone as far as he can go, and he makes the grab. What a catch! He takes away a home run for Gomes. Great grab. Keeps it a two-run game. If you're Jan Gomes, you've never been so mad to have a sack fly in your whole life. This into center. Jazz Chisholm makes the play. 
What a grab by Jazz. Just kind of floating out into center field and then reaching out and hanging on. A great defensive play. Oh, my goodness. Wow, what a play by Jazz. Over the shoulder, full extension, selling out to the catch and getting a big, big, big first out here in the eighth. Robert in the air, left field. Gordon back at the track. It is over! The Sox are in first place. Luis Robert sends him there. Five to your final score. There's plenty left in that bet, folks. He lofts one out to left. Back goes McNeil to the warning track, and he made the catch! Oh, wow, what a play! Jeff McNeil fully extended, hitting the wall hard. Man, what a play by McNeil to save two runs. What a fantastic play by McNeil. Giving up his body to save Peterson two runs and get him through the inning. Two down, a runner on. Collins drives one in the air, fairly deep left center. Mercado back on the track near the wall. He jumps and he made the catch. What a play by Mercado. He ran and leaped at the last moment, crashing into the wall in left center and robbing Zach Collins of an extra base RBI hit. What a play by Mercado. Myers to left field. Deep far. Very good. A walk-off home run. This edition of the San Diego Padres is simply unbelievable. Down by four runs with two outs in the bottom of the seventh. The game one of a doubleheader. And they walk it off. Well, Myers, people at the end. Ball game's over. Ball game's over. What a baseball team. One out in the eighth inning. A harmless grounder, and up comes Mike Brasso. Here it is. Swing and a long drive. Deep to left field. Going back is Gardner. All the way to the wall. It's gone! A home run for Mike Brasso. The Rays have taken a 2-1 lead and sweep justice in San Diego. And that noise you hear is the Rays dugout in San Diego. Oh, is that indeed sweet justice. First pitch what is hit. Right field. This is going to win it. Let's just see how far it goes. And wow. it is gone. That's a grand slam home run to walk this thing off. Matt Olson does not wait around. He hits one into the seats. And it's a 7-3 final in extra innings. He drives one out to right field, chasing Conforto back to the warning track, over his head, and he made the catch! Oh, my God. Oh, wow! Mitz with some outstanding outfield play in that inning. None better than Conforto. What a grab. And he made the catch! He made the catch over his shoulder and runs softly into the fence to the right of the 370 mark, one of the defensive plays of the year from the New York Mets. Michael Conforto just saved three runs. And you'll be seeing that one all year. Nice for a three homer game for Abreu. Sure, he'd like it. Jose in the air left field. One more time, bring him home. Well, we told you back in the sixth inning that Jose sometimes takes it into his own hands. We didn't believe at that point that three home runs later, he'd have a perfect night, four for four with a walk and three bombs. And he crosses him up and hits it fair down the left field line. This will be a long, long run for Guriel to go get the ball. Diaz is getting the wave and is out at the plate. What a throw by Guriel. Well, he's got a strong arm, and Lourdes picks up his first outfield assist of the season. He had nine last year. Long throw. First of all, it was a long run to get to it. And then he throws it all the way on the fly to Danny Jansen, who puts the tag on Diaz. What a terrific throw from the left fielder. Batiste shooting one toward the corner, slicing away from Adele, and he'll dive. Did he get it and hang on to it? He, yes, did. he did. Wow, what a play by Joe Adele. 
robbing Tatis of extra bases. And that is the third out. That's one of the best angles I've seen from Joe Adele. We saw that one when he had made that good cutoff throw to Anderson Simmons, but this is a great angle for Joe Adele to run this one down. This ball gets, and it stays in that corner, that's a triple, at least. Well, not only does it keep the inning alive, but it does so for Mookie Betts, who has hit two home runs tonight. Lifts a fly ball to left center field. Back towards the wall. It is gone! Mookie with another three home run game! In the history of baseball, three men have done this six times. Johnny Mize, Sammy Sosa, and now Mookie Betts. I guess you don't see any pressure of signing the long-term deal in him. And Mets with a fly ball to left center field. Way back, and he has hit it out. Third home run of the game for Mookie Betts. He's got seven on the season. The route is on. The Dodgers 11-2 on six home runs tonight. Machado to deep left field. It is high, deep, and it is a grand slam to walk it off. Manny Machado is tonight's Padres hero. How about three grand slams in three games against the Texas Rangers for the San Diego Padres? Tell you what they say, everything's big in Texas. How about the Grand Slam being big in San Diego? <laughs> Rush, ball going, ball long gone. Grand Slam, Manny Machado. How about that for the first walk off this year? Here go then, boys. 4-4 the score, it's to the 11th we go. Fly ball. Headed down the left field line and falling, but heading over and it'll fall fair. Here comes Machado. He's going to try and score. The throw to the plate will be late and Machado is in. It's 5 4 at San Diego. Swing and a miss. He struck him out for the first time in 14 years. The San Diego Padres have clinched their spot in the postseason. Is this the best Padres team ever? We will find out in October. Swing and a drive to deep right center field. Away, back and gone. It's a game winner. It's a playoff clincher. And for the fourth time in the last five years, Indians fans, you will have a postseason to remember. The magic number is zero. One ball, one strike. In the air, center field, Correa's watching. This is back, and it's gone! It's a walk-off home run! Carlos Correa! Astros win! Carlos Correa has just forced a game six in this ALCS. What a moment. Carlos Correa has his walk-off moment here in game five. Wow. The Houston Astros win it at the bottom of the ninth on Correa's walk-off homer, four to three. And there will be a game six. Now Freeman coming up. And now Freeman with a fly ball to right. Heading on back is Betts. He's at the wall. He leaps and he catches another one. He's robbed another one. He robs Freeman of a home run leaping over the yellow line. Mookie Betts is of another planet. My, oh my, what a play. Does he have a trampoline out there to use? Timed it perfectly, goes up, and robs the home run. He's got wings on his feet. He knew the timing. Once he tracked the ball, he knew if he jumped before the fence. Too many times you get too close to the fence, and the fence knocks you down. That's drilled out to left field. This one's got a chance to get out of here, and it does! Big fly for Albert Pujols. 
661st of his career, and he stands alone in the number five spot all time on the home run list. Yeah, the machine rolling by now to say, hey, kid, congratulations to Albert passing Willie Mays on the all-time home run list. And how special that is for Albert Pujols. Base is empty, two out. He faces Bellinger. Eight pitch has been the magic one tonight. This time he hits the ball to deep right field. Cody Bellinger has done it! And the Dodgers lead in game seven. Ball is over the middle of the plate, and he can handle that pitch. Cody Bellinger putting his team ahead. And the Dodgers, who hit 118 home runs during the regular year, have just hit their 16th home run of the championship series. And Martin had tried to stay away from the power of Cody Bellinger. He kept missing away, and then he threw a fastball right down the middle. You make a mistake, Bellinger loses it into the stands. It is a Rosarena that leads off the fourth. Here is a shot into right center field. This ball is back at the wall, and he's got another. And the all-time record for home runs in a single postseason with number nine. Randy Rosarena on the first pitch he sees here in the fourth inning. And it's a record-setting ninth home run this postseason for Randy Rosarena. What a run. What a run. Pitch. Fly ball again to left field. Long run for Hampson and Arenado. And foul ground. Nolan with a sliding catch makes the play. You want to know why he is a gold glover? He caught that ball a good 90 feet down the left field line. That is one of his all time plays. Now, Ozuna. Right, you're going to fly ball to right field, deep, going back at the wall. Betts leaps and makes the catch. Oh, Mookie Betts has done it again. It doesn't matter if it's a shoestring catch or leaping absolutely as high as he can against the wall. Mookie Betts has done it again. Oh, man. The one-two serve, he got him swinging, two down. Jace Peterson with two outs, ninth inning. He is one out away. Up the got middle, Baez has it, it's a no-hitter! The former college walk-on has made history in Milwaukee. What a moment for Alec Mills, never uh, thrown a Complete game at the big league level. He goes complete game, shutout, no hitter, making history here this afternoon. My goodness, what a moment. In the air to right field, towards the corner, and back, it's gone! Welcome to Slam Diego! Grand slam for Eric Osmer! For the first time in Major League history, a team has hit a grand slam in four consecutive games, and that team is the San Diego Padres. Eric Osmer with the grand slam. Come Rushed. It's unbelievable. It's uncanny. It's record setting. Tatis on Monday, Myers on Tuesday, Machado a walk off on Wednesday, and now Eric Osmer on Thursday. Major League history. Breaking ball. Long run by Lewis to the gap on the track. Jump in. Wow, he made the catch. Oh, baby. Kyle Lewis with a stellar, stellar effort. Leaps up and he makes the catch. Holy smokes, Kyle Lewis over the wall and left center brings it back. And he takes a grand salami away from Raymond Laureano. Holy smokes, Lewis timing that leap. High over the wall and left center field out near the pen. And that will retire the side. What a play. Remember the biggest spot of Granderall's career right here. This is ball to deep center field. Ballinger twisting around. Still going. He's at the wall. Tatis keeping the Dodgers in front 4-3. His 
glove with six or seven inches over the yellow line and straight away center. A spectacular catch by Cody Bellinger. And the Dodgers get out of the inning. Oh, what a play. Doesn't get any better than that. Adam Angle is there, two down. And now, the only man to reach base tonight for the Pittsburgh Pirates, Eric Gonzalez. No hits through 26 outs. To right field, Adam Angle is there! A no-hitter! The 19th in White Sox history! The young gamer just had the game of his life. 101 pitches total, 74 for strikes. It's the first time any White Sox no-hitter was with 10 or more strikeouts. Brett Phillips wasn't even on the Rays roster for the ALCS. The one-two pitch. And Phillips is cashed in. A base hit back up the middle. Here's Kiermaier to score. The ball's mishandled. And now they've got a Rosarena to run down. A Rosarena scores and the Rays have won the game. Santa Maria. What an unbelievable turn of events. What a ball game. Brett Phillips who hadn't had a Fight appearance in a couple of weeks. A Rose Arena flying around the bases and then stumbles around third, falls to the ground, but Smith can't handle the throw to the plate. What a way to finish. Oh my goodness. That's a broken bat flare down the line to right and sinks in there for Marte. Bets over to dig it out. Marte headed to second. He's going to try for three. Mookie's throw right on the money. Oh, Mookie. On the fly to Justin Turner, who drops the tag down for the first out and a thrilling one at that. He is out. Oh, what a throw by Mookie Betts on the fly from the right field corner. And a perfect tag at third base by Corey Seager. Wow. Well, he did with a glove last night. He does it with the arm right here in the first inning. It was a broken bat, off-speed pitch. Hit it right off the end. It went down the right field line, and for Betts, goes into the corner. And one of the things that, that Mookie was able to do is to get himself in a good throwing position. And he just uncorks the throw. It's perfect right to the bag and a quick tag. On a fly. Wow, what a throw. And however long this season runs, there may be throws as good as what Mookie Betts just threw. Valdez is ready, so Lair is too. And now for the World Series. Hit well, deep left. That's going back. That ball is gone! one nothing Braves. And Jorge feels like busting loose. And that's how you start a World Series. Woo-hoo! I think that's a good sign of things to come, Ben. Newman bounce back to KK first time up. Oh my goodness, what a catch by Harrison Bader in left center. Harrison Bader has come up with some dandies this year and certainly in this series, but this one might be his best. That's hitched sharply. Lindor with the backhand flip, and it's dropped by VR, and now there's nobody covering third. The throw to Stroman, and he's out! No. Stroman got there in time to tag out Soto. Oh, wow, what a play! Great presence of mind by Stroman to sprint there, and the throw led him perfectly. Look at this. One sky to Here right. Deep and gone! Oh! Miguel Cabrera's 350th is a Tiger! Second base. Is a, <laughs> he he thought second. it was a double! <laughs> How about that? Awesome. On opening day Look in the, the confetti. Stonefield Stadium. The confetti. <laughs> oh my gosh. The outfielder couldn't, Miggy couldn't see it. He slid into second. For the alleys, it's 
Montana with a dive. He can't get it. It rolls behind him. Renfro backs him up. Wendell's heading for third. Here's the throw. The tag. Oh, 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 oh. Got him and the ball game is over. Are you kidding me? Red Sox win it. Oh, my goodness. Wendell out at third base. Trying to sprint to third. He is cut down. Sox win a thriller at Fenway Park. Gets that ball and makes an unbelievable throw. Look at that right on the money. That's a 300 foot toss. High drive at the center field. JBJ at the wall. And he makes the catch. Oh, what a play. Jackie Bradley Jr. Takes a home run away from Ozzy Albies. It's like he jumped up against the wall and just hung there for a while, didn't it? And able to make the catch. Oh, what a play by JBJ. He had it measured the whole way. He perfectly timed his leap and took away a home run. Beautiful play. Check it out. Yeah, he grabbed the top of the wall to keep himself in the air a little bit longer. Royals have two on, nobody out. And now, perhaps a bunting chance now, Danny, for Nicky Lopez with nobody out and two on. Castillo in at third. Sano in at first, two on, nobody out. Showing bunt, lays it down, pops it up. Sano with the catch. He'll throw to second base. There's one. Simmons now running Gallagher back to first base. And this is going to be a triple play. Miles Straw in a dead sprint. Dives in. What a catch. Oh! Holy smokes! Completely extended! Like a wide receiver pulling it down to the corner of the end zone. Miles Straw hangs on and saves a big run for the Tribe. Freddie Freeman hit for the cycle August 18th. Rosario a chance to join him here. Back in the second inning, Eddie Rosario doubled. In the fifth inning, he tripled. In the seventh inning, he homered. And what does he have in store for us here in the ninth inning? We're about to find out. Little looper, he's yeah. got it. Rosario has hit for the cycle. And he wants that baseball, you bet. Two balls, two strikes. Oh, he struck him out. <laughs> Look at Rizzo, he can't believe it. <laughs> oh, it's great. High kick. A rope caught by Votto, makes the tag in the belly. And a little slow coming home, a head first slide. Rosario in. And they get the line drive double play. And they get the three. A miss at home and a triple play. John, I can say I have never seen that in my life. A bullet to first base, Joy Votto. Tags Reyes there. Sees the guy scores, but wait a minute. Did he tag up? No, he did not. Early departure and a permanent arrival. Now Lux gets into one. He thinks he got it. That's way back. And this one is going to be caught. Duval. What a catch. Well, a guy that's played left field and right field, barely played center field in his career, but he's athletic. He's been around a while. And he makes a great play here, whether that ball is going out or a double or triple off the wall. A huge play by Adam Duval. And you couldn't do it. First pitch swinging. Deep left field. Way back. Storybook home run. <laughs> How about that, Shep? Akil Badu, he, he, he did it just like you scripted it. AJ tells him, don't let off the pedal. He goes up there confident, calm. How do you stay calm when you're a rookie, your first at bat? And just drills an opposite field home run. Oh, that's just beautiful. And he knew it, too. Reyes fires, swing and a drive, deep left field, this is way back, walk him off, Chris Taylor! Chris Taylor with the moment of his life, and he's had some big moments, a walk-off home run, 
his sixth career postseason homer. And Taylor, a struggling hitter, delivers in the clutch. But why I think you're seeing. Here's one into right. Back at the wall, the game is tied. Home run, Swanson. 2-2 in the seventh. One pitch. That's hit well to deep left field. Back there towards the wall. Alvarez leaps, and that is, that is out of the ballpark. That is gone. Double trouble. Back to back. Dansby and Jorge had a 3 2 lead in the bottom of the seventh for the Atlanta Braves. And Alonzo hits it out to deep right. Newt Bar back and has it. Lars Newt Bar with the catch, and he robs Alonzo. Down three, tying run is at first, the pitch. Swing and a fly ball. Deep right, are you My kidding God. me? The oh. game, a walk-off grand slam. My oh my, how about that? Oh baby, woo! Swing and a drive into right center. This is trouble, warning track at the wall, leaping and caught by Kane. Catch up against the wall. He took a home run away from Contreras with a catch on top of the wall. 3 1 on Olsen. Marte the tying run at second base. Two outs, bottom of the ninth. And that one is chopped to Odor. And the Yankees win again. The Yankees have won 12 in a row. It's their longest winning streak since they won 13 in a row in September of 1961. And the save for Chapman, the 300th of his career, the 31st pitcher to reach that number. Just the second ever Mets shortstop to enjoy a three homer game. And now Conforto, who has been as frustrated today as we have ever seen him, he gets another chance. Alonzo, the tying run at third, Baez, the winning run at first, two out. And Conforto slashes one the other way, base hit! That ties the game! Alonzo in, Baez digging for third, it's kicked by Alfaro! Here comes Baez! Try to score! He scores! And the Mets win it! Turn those thumbs around! All that Ronald has done in the big leagues, he has yet to hit a walk-off home run. So no time like the present, kid. Get after it. High fly ball, center field deep, and the track, and the wall! It's gone! Ronald Acuna just sent a shockwave to the ballpark. And the Braves walk it off at Truist Park. Partner, you never forget your first one. And Ronald Acuna Jr. hits one into the Atlanta bullpen. A little poke job down the third baseline. Backhand jump throw by Bryant. Scooped out by Bell. Two down. As soon as he got the ball, I was wondering how he's going to get set. He goes to the Jeter left foot one hop. And on the other side, it's Belt taking it out beautifully, and in the end, Calhoun out by a bunch. Nice play. This one down the right field line. Sanchez. Oh, boy! He caught it with his bare hand! He overran it and caught it with his bare hand! You've got to be kidding me! Wow! <laughs> That's not how it works! Look at this. It's Kevin Mitchell all over again. Are you kidding me? Yeah, he did. He overran the baseball, and the only thing he could do was stick his bare hand up to make the catch, and he did. Look, Bob, no glove. Second and third with two men out. Yankees have a 3-1 to one lead. Now Chapman is ready. 
to pitch to Mejia. And the pitch has popped up. He popped him up in the infield. There is LeMahieu near first. LeMahieu makes a catch. He fell down and caught the ball before it hit the ground. Wow, what a way to end the game. Wow. A swing and a miss. A delayed double steal attempt. Throw to the play. It is If it stands, it's the second stolen base of the game for Shohei. Goslin draws the throw, and then Shohei was off to the races. That was a delayed steal to draw that throw and gets a hand in oh just boy. before the tag. That's so close. 2-2 two -two is shipped to right. Betts is going to grab it. Made it look easy, but here comes Gonzalez. What a throw from Betts, and it's on the Are money. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Out to center field. Robles heading back toward the State Farm side. He jumps. It's off the top of it. Harper can run. He's around second. The ball picked up in center field. They're going to wave him home. The throw by Soto is not in time. Inside the park home run. Again the 2-2. Fastball hit high and deep to left field. Blue Jays win it! Marcus Simeon with a game-winning three-run home run! So that will load up the bases with nobody out, and Travis Shaw can be the hero. 3-2 coming. Swing a high fly ball, this game is over. Slam it! Deep to right field, and it is gone! How sweet is that for Travis Shaw? Talk about a walk-off piece. The ultimate walk-off. Slam it. And here is Jock Peterson. To right field. Garcia going back. Look it up. It is gone. A blast. Pitch hit. Three-run home run for Jock Peterson. And the Atlanta Braves are on top. Three to nothing. His second pitch hit home run of this NLTS. Well, they didn't nickname him Jocktober for no reason. Bottle hammers it. Center field. Brandon Nimmo back. Seven heaven. It's seven consecutive games with a Joey Votto record. High drive. Right field. Going back. Judge on the track. Leaps. And he makes the play. What a play by Judge. Getting back to first is Gritchick. He took a two-run home run away from Kevin Biggio. Well, Freddie needs the homer for the cycle. As this one's whacked to center. That ball is deep. That ball is at the wall. That ball is gone. It's the cycle for Freddie Freeman. Have a night. I was a teammate for that first cycle of Freddy's back in June 15th of 16, and now a chance to watch it. And... Wow. Now Mitch Hanniger, 262 start to the year for Hanniger, but 13 home runs, and he ties into that one pretty well. Garcia back near the wall, gets in position, leaves, and did he get it? He did! Adolis Garcia takes another one away, and there are two outs in the inning. What can't he do? And the thing about it is we talk about the personality and how he is built for the big moment. We have a tendency to focus on the offense. So what about the defense getting up over the wall, taking one back and away from Mitch Hanniger from Adolis Garcia in the first inning already in the middle of the action of this game. Is it going to be enough? Back at the wall. Game tied. There's the jolt. Yep. And it's 7-7. Seven, seven. Into right. Judge. One away. Aaron Judge is homer twice tonight. And he makes a diving catch to start the bottom of the ninth. Hard hit ball. Dansby slides. Makes the play. And preserves the tie. Wow. Great play by Dansby Swanson. Hard hit ball. Rodriguez loving that. Now again, the Braves a chance to walk it off. A rocket by Aquino. 
And a nifty, beautiful play by Dansby Swanson going to the ground, landing on the seat of his pants, a quick spin as he got up, and a perfect throw to first to end the inning. Runner on first two outs, tied at five in the eighth inning. Fly ball, deep right center field. Back is Myers at the wall, and Will makes the catch. He brings it back in the yard. Myers with a great catch at the fence in right center. Will Myers says no. Turner, right field line, and it's beyond the reach of Margot. He's going to second. He's going to third. Here's the throw. Psycho for Trey Turner on his birthday. Il Demaro Vargas is the next up for Arizona. And a diving play grabbed by Ozzy Albies. In the shift, leaping with his Superman cape, flapping in the breeze behind him. A diving grab for out number one. Yeah, we've come to just become accustomed to watching him make great plays. This is another one there. That ball was scorched. He got a good jump and laid out. Another great defensive gem by Ozzy. He better win the gold glove. Riding up to home plate, 21-year-old outfielder Jared Keldick for the very first time in the big leagues, wearing number 10 on his back. He's making his major league debut tonight. And he swings at the first pitch. Right field near the line, Josh Naylor running out of room. Oh my goodness, what a play by Naylor as he hung on. Yes, he did. And was upended into the seats. And Kelnick is retired on the first big league pitch that he sees. I'll tell you what, this is a tremendous play. I mean, you're, you're close. A lot of times you quit and give up. And he made the catch, falling into the stands at foul ground. Josh Naylor with a circus catch. I mean, how impressive is that? Slider, his favorite weapon. Stanton hits one to the monster again. And that one's off the top of the wall. Judge streaking around third. The throw to the plane. And in time to get him. Perfect execution by the Red Sox. And this is a ball right off the bat, Matt. You're thinking second and third, one out. I cannot believe that Phil Nevin sent Aaron Judge. And now the Red Sox want the exact matchup they want with two outs and facing their weak link here at Joy Gallo. A guy that's been very, very cold with man in scoring position. The pitch by Sessa, hit by Lupo, a diving catch by Frazier. Frazier had a race toward left center, left his speed and made an absolutely terrific catch to rob Luplo of at least a double. The hats off to Frazier for making really that'd be on all the highlight shows. That is a full dive toward left center like he's going in the swimming pool and he made the catch and held on. And bounced and a fair ball and a long throw for Hayes. He got him. Oh, unbelievable. He Brian Hayes. One of the best you'll ever see way out there and threw a strike to Moran to get Molina who's dumbfounded look at the, the look on his face it look where he like, throws this like ball from anything. yeah from the stands he's closer to Cranick's family than he was to fair territory how does it that accurate guy can play some third that is sensational here you are Ron you're in the sixth inning it's a game on the 11th of June. There's nobody on base. And yet, if you didn't know all of those things, you'd think this almost feels like a playoff game. Oh, yeah, this is October. It got written all over it. Fans cheering foul balls. A very intense battle between Rizzo and Ponce de Leon. Two balls, two strikes on Rizzo. What an at bat from Anthony Rizzo. An absolute marathon. Is he excited? Look at the dugout. I mean, they were with him every 
pitch of that at bat, the dugout and the 40 plus thousand in this ballpark, riding that wave with Anthony. Yeah, there you go. Billy Williams digging it. Goose bumper too. I got him running up and down all my arms and legs. <laughs> they want a curtain call. Oh yeah, they do. And third, number 55, first baseman, Albert Pujols. The 2-1. Albert lifts it out to deep left field. He's done it. In St. Louis, he would always rise to the occasion. And at the age of 41, he hasn't lost his touch. Career home run number 679 for Albert Pujols. Unbelievable. Line and caught by Fernando. You cannot do it any better than that. Superhuman Fernando Tatis Jr. up into the air. Yeah, go ahead. Watch yourself, kid. Oh, my gosh. How does he do that? He, like, leaped for that ball, and then watch. He kicks up to get more. Hang time, and then some. Wow! <laughs> He's a superhero. Bases loaded, two outs. Hey, wow. Dick, this is on its way. Grand Slam! Grandma, get out the right bread and mustard. Grand Salami time. Upper deck, left field, down the line. Dylan Moore with a grand salami. And the Mariners lead the Astros 11 to 8 in one of the greatest comebacks I've seen in a long, long time. And he sends one out to right center. Diving catch by Cole Calhoun. What a play. Boy, that's a pitcher's best friend there. Tip of the cap, wagging the finger. Line shot to right field. The ball sinking out there. And Cole Calhoun, not only does he make the catch, but he reads it so well off the bat. Diving catch and helps his pitcher out. Takes a base hit away from Marisnik and gets out number two ahead of Nico Warner. Six wins it, and now it's five that will win it. Another massive shot from Alonzo. Four to win it, like a countdown. Three to win it. Two to win it. He's not missing. One more to win it as Alonzo comes out of the timeout and walks it off. What a finish. Alonzo defends his title. The 2021 Derby champion put the belt on again. Here it is. Deep to right. It will go. Ball game over. Brian Goodwin wins it. Gets a 3-1 fastball and rides it out of the yard. This fastball down the middle. He knew it when it left the bat. The fans knew it. He's going to send them home happy this beautiful Sunday. Sox take the series and move the Indians back to nine games back. Courtesy of Brian Goodwin and that line drive rocket that sent everybody home. Camarena to keep right field. Camarena plays it. Slam Diego. Are you kidding me? The Padres pitcher that is brought up from El Paso. The San Diego kid. To the grand slam. That's unbelievable. Off Max Scherzer. Well, we know now the hot zone. Off the bat of Daniel Camarena, down and in. That was unbelievable. I think this crowd is absolutely stunned. I know I am. I almost fainted. Don Jimenez and his family is in attendance. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> unbelievable. How awesome is that? 
there have been seven walk off homers by a catcher in postseason history. Do I hear number eight? Christian Vasquez, a two-run homer. Can you believe it? Six for Boston in 13 innings. And Vasquez getting mobbed, fires his helmet in the air as he approaches home plate and is being mobbed. Six for Boston. They lead the pivotal series, game three. They win it. They are two games to one in front of the Tampa Bay Rays as Vasquez hits a walk-off. plays you'll see on both ends oh my goodness the speed of Defoe he can fly Arenado had to get rid of it quickly didn't even have time to get to his feet throws it from his knees what a play all the way around that is awesome holy smokes even Arenado enjoyed that one Ozo runs and Holt hits a little pop-up down the third base line, and Chapman caught it. He throws back to first, and safe is Pozo. What a play by Matt Chapman. Sensational effort. Otherworldly Latinum level defensive effort. My word. A remarkable play by Matt Chapman. That was almost a one in a million. Sitting on the outside. That's right over the heart of the plate. Deep left center field. Still going back, Talkman leaps, and he did it again. <laughs> he robbed a home run from Juan Soto. He took it right out of the bullpen. And Soto can't believe it, just as Albert Pujols couldn't believe it a couple of weeks ago. Oh it's his goodness. Friday night heist for Mike Talkman. The strike one. Swinging a fly ball, left center field. This one's trouble. Long run for Hill. Dives in. He made the catch. Wow. Derek Hill lays out in left center. Flies through the air and takes an extra base hit and two runs away from the Blue Jays. Derek Hill playing a sensational center field made his best catch of the year. The left side, all the way in on the right side, and this is to the diving shortstop Swanson. He gets up, throws out Kane at first base. Runners don't advance. So they bring the infield in, and Swanson with a diving play on a sharply hit ball. Took a look at second and at third. Nobody going anywhere, and goes to first for the out. One down, it's a big out. Danzy Swanson all year has been outstanding playing defense, and he makes a play and saves a run. It's a 6-3 twin killing. He almost had to steamroll Ozzy to get to second base. There's one that's up above the zone, lined out to right, and what a play! Adolis Garcia was cheating like mad. That ball has never been caught in this no ballpark way. before. What a catch by Adolis Garcia! He went full speed into that padded rail and picked it right off the net. 3-2 pitch runner goes. This one lined out to right field. Garcia has it. Might have a play at first. Here comes a throw. Got him! Another outfield assist from El Bombe. He's unbelievable. How many guys can throw the ball? Not quite flat-footed, but almost that far out of line. is the 200th home run in all-star game history and you could have chopped that up into two you should admire a little bit more it's the all-star game boy have fun here we go with otani the hitter to start the eighth oh tani oh. got it he got it 
franchise record for left-handed hitters. Three to one Halos. Oh, Uncle Shohei Otani, number 40. <laughs> Seven incredible innings on the mound, and he just smashes the baseball a mile. <laughs> hey, is there ever a drop the mic moment in baseball? That might be it right there with that swing yeah. to Shohei. On an 0 1 pitch, Hernandez lifts one to left center field. It is pulled in by Meadows. Here comes Santana. The Red Sox on to the championship series. Kika Hernandez trying to take the title a new Mr. October. Nine hits. And the sacrifice fly that sends the Boston Red Sox to the American League Championship Series. Swing and a line drive, left center field. Kike coming in, still coming hard, and he slides. He rolls over, and did he make the catch? He did. He saved at least two runs. Kike Hernandez with a tumbling catch in left center field to get Sale out of the jam. Wow, if that ball had dropped, who knows? They might have scored three. Red Sox outfielders in this ballpark, Joe, last couple times have had some <laughs> magic right there. Very close to being a trap. Kiki knew he got it. He was out wow. as he left the field. Wow. 2-2 Two -two game, bottom of the ninth. Riley line drive. That is down. A base hit. Here comes Albies. And the Atlanta Braves win game one. Austin Riley. Tied it with a home run in the fourth. He wins it with a single in the ninth. His first career walk-off RBI for Riley, regular or postseason. And Austin Riley, this magical season. And he's got one more piece to add to it right here. Jansen ready to deal. Offering to Rosario. Line drive, that is through, it gets through. Here comes Dansby. Lightning strikes twice, and the Braves walk it off. This is unbelievable. And the Braves win it, and they go up 2-0 in the series. Listen to this place. I can't believe it. Red Sox DH hits it in the air to right. Back at the wall, it's gone. Grand slam, J.D. Martinez. And a fourth spot in the first inning for the Red Sox in game two. Base is loaded with one out. The pitch. Rocky swings and drives one. Deep to right field. If it's fair, it's gone. It is fair. A grand slam. The Red Sox have hit their second grand slam of the game. And it's 8 nothing. Verdugo at second. One gone. One, two pitch. Renfro pops it into right center field. Kiermeyer or Rosarena come together. Kiermeyer with a catch. Verdugo heads for third. Here's the throw. He's wow. out. Kevin oh, Kiermeyer throw of the year. What a play and a throw and a decision for Kiermeyer to get it instead of a Rosarena. And the just the pickup of the short hop was incredible. Just his fifth start in 2021 in center field. And that took away a big time hit for the Braves. Head first, that's the toughest way to dive. And Tucker is able to make the catch and not hurt himself at the same time. It's a fly ball to center field. Lorenzo Cain going back at the wall. Freddie Freeman's left the yard and put the Braves on top in the bottom of the eighth. With a solo shot to left center, they lead it five to four in game four of the NLDS. Oh, it's Stallings. The fly ball to left near the line by the wall. And, oh, no way! Jacob Stallings! Just cleared the deck! Unbelievable! He's not a cheetah, he's a lion! The Bucks walk it off in grand fashion!
This is the historic swing. Look at that pitch. <laughs> 98 in off the plate. Woo! Before tonight, 314 and 0 when leading by six or more runs in the eighth inning. It's now 314 and 1. positioning today you see a lot of infielders catching balls where they usually don't catch it Estella across the bag with a flip and the play is by Crawford not only to get the high flip but athletically to tag the base with one foot and all in one motion catch tag throw outstanding mm, just graceful coming across the shortstop and Brandon Crawford finishing off a beautiful double play to end the inning Fly ball, deep left field, Pollock to the wall, it is caught! A.J. took it away! Pollock robs Machado, and the Dodgers stay in front. The ball was in the first row, and it's not fan interference, so he's up there battling with some fans to get this one. Not only does he time the jump, but keeps the concentration to have it land in the leather. This could be one, two, on the first, it's a triple play! They've done it again! Three times a charm, and the Yankees win two to one! Can you believe it? The 0-2. Left side, Swanson. To first, the Braves are world champions! At 10.23 Central Time, Tuesday, November 2nd, 2021, the Atlanta Braves have officially overcome all obstacles that were put in front of them. And they are world champions, winning it in six and delivering Atlanta their second championship. start for the Blue Jays tonight up two to nothing already. Charlie Montoya is going to do the honors with that record setting home run right there from Marcus Simeon. Boy did he ever turn on that fastball. On the ground and diving it short is Cronenworth. His throw will be in time. Jake Cronenworth. Oh, you can hit it anywhere but don't hit it in the crowd zone. What a play. I thought he had no chance on that play. Not only getting to that ball, but the presence of mind to bounce that ball, because if that's on the fly, there's no way he gets that runner. Wow, look at how quick he is from glove up to throwing. Talk about being an athlete. Wow. And a 1 0. Hammered the other way. Long dive. Oh, what a play by Rosarena. A spectacular play. I don't know if you're going to see a better play by an outfielder all season long. What a catch by Randy Arozarena out there in right center field. Saved a run. It gets by him and two are in. An acrobatic catch. And you're right, flying through the air. Looked like all he was missing was a cape. One ball, one strike pitch on its way. Swing and a fly ball to left. That is trouble. Gamble over. Gamble. Diving catch! He just made one of the great catches you're ever going to see. I don't know how he did it. Throw the first. Not in time. Ben Gamble made one of the greatest catches we have ever seen. That's not an exaggeration. That's an unbelievable play on the warning track in left. Wow. Unbelievable catch he went on the dead Superman. sprint. 1-1 to Fernando. 
Fernando hits one in the air down the left field line. It is headed towards the pole. It is headed onto the tracks. It's a three-run home run. History in Houston for Fernando Tatis Jr. With two outs in the ninth, the Padres have tied it up six to six. Unbelievable. You just sensed it, especially with the mistake to Jones. Gets another opportunity. Wow, this team's relentless. Long pause, now the pitch, and a breaking ball is hit high and deep. Left center field, that's way back, and that ball is gone. Number 46 for Salvador Perez. And the Royals' lead is 7-0. That pitch hung up for Salvi, and he smashed it into the bleachers above that 19-foot-high wall in left field. Salvador Perez, home run number 46, RBIs 114 and 115. And that's a liner that's curling away. Diving catch, Joe Adele! How about that? How far Joe Adele's got to go with that stride, the dive, and control with the baseball. Love that emotion, Joe Adele. He's got everybody's stamp of approval <laughs> in the building. No blast to left center field. Buxton with a diving catch in center. Oh, what a catch by Byron Buxton. Preserving the lead. A tremendous catch by Buxton to keep the Twins up 10-9. It's one of the best catches I've seen Byron Buxton make, especially given the, the context. The lead slipping away. Rodgers giving up the two-run double. And then right after that, Olsen smashing one toward the gap. And some great center fielders in the game, and Buxton might be the only one who could have made that play. Byron Buxton and his speed is a cheat code. It's unfair. He should have to stay put for at least three seconds before breaking on a baseball. Two outs and a runner at first. The shift on the right side. And tonight, over 35,000 ready to celebrate the 0-1. Lined into center. There's Bader. Has it. 17 consecutive wins. The run of 21. It's been historic. Amazing. Incredible. And now the St. Louis Cardinals are postseason bound. Many said it was improbable. Others said impossible. These guys said, let's just go find out. Runners on the corners, and Will Myers is the batter. First pitch to Myers, and Myers turns on it. Deep left, racing over there in the corner, and diving, and making an amazing catch is Billy McKinney. Oh, man, Billy McKinney saves two runs and gets both arms extended in celebration from Corbin Burns. Profar couldn't believe it. Hands on his helmet. That is the catch of the year for the crew. Zeros on the board. Where did the Brewers get Billy McKinney? Down to the final out. Luke Williams, the hitter, with a runner at first base in a one nothing game. Boy, would this be a storybook ending for him? Walk off. Let's say the thought probably creeped into his mind. <laughs> Fly ball, left field. Already is going back toward the wall. It did creep into everybody's mind. It's a two-run walk-off home run. Luke Williams. Yes, sir. How about this welcome to Philadelphia? Wow. What a reaction by his family. What a reaction by his teammates. What a reaction by Luke Williams. A 2-1 victory by the Bills with a two-run walk-off here at the bottom of the ninth inning. That was incredible. And this one is caught by Chalkman. He robbed him. Albert Pujols came that close and he may just be finding out right now that that was not a home run. Mike Chalkman 
keeps the Giants alive in this one. Well, Austin Barnes stuns the Giants, and Mike Tockman just stuns the Dodgers. I mean, complete extension and pucks it right in the sweet spot. Wow. Bulls thought he had it. The Dodgers thought he had it. The fans thought he had it. Everybody thought he had it, and Mike Talkman took one away. A leaping catch at the wall, and I do believe he robbed him. He pulled that one back. What a catch by Mike Talkman. 2-2. Uh-oh. Oh, that's deep left center. Chris Taylor. Not one, not two, but three. Chris Taylor. The night of his life. 7-2 Dodgers. Home run number three for Taylor. Six RBIs. A three homer game in game five of the NLCS. The fly ball into the gap. Springer on the ride. Oh, what a catch. George Springer's doing it all tonight. And you're not going to find a better catch than this. The determination on his face saying I am catching this no matter what got a great jump remember this ball is slicing away from him right there he says I got it and a circus catch in the excitement by the Blue Jays what a play by George Springer Redis clubs this to left field Fraley leaps in Fraley made the catch are you serious Shed gets two Wow, unreal. We have seen some great outfield play in this game. Nothing better than that one right there. Steckenreiter, you can't believe it. That was fantastic. Wow, you will never see that. Holy smokes, what a double play. And we are going to the 10th tied at 3-3. Three to three. Jake Fraley way over the wall in left field, robbing Isaac Paredes with a game-winning home run, and we're going to the 10th tide. There they go, pitch on the way. He attacks and smokes one to deep left. This one's going supersonic. That is out of the ballpark. Whoa! Over the train tracks, it's 3-0 Atlanta. And Jorge Soler lands the first punch here in the top of the third inning. That cleared the tracks by a mile. Jorge dropped the bat, turned to his dugout, pounded on his chest, went into his trot. You can take all the time you want when you do that to a baseball. And that'll bring up Miguel Cabrera. Some of the people by now should be aware of uh, the milestone that he is trying to hit. Home run number 500 if he gets it or when he gets it, whenever that is, he'll become the 28th player all time to reach 500 home runs. 1-1. Deep fly ball, right center field. That's got carry. It's gone. Number 500 and history for Miguel Cabrera. There have been more than 20,000 players in Major League history. Miguel Cabrera has become the 28th to hit 500 home runs. Take that curtain call. You deserve it. There goes Rosarena. He steals home in October. He timed it up. Watch how he times it. As soon as he goes to that, there was a timing mechanism that was taking place on every pitch that Taylor threw. See how he goes through a late kick, and then it's just a little too late to try to make that move. What an incredible night for this guy. Oh, my. Randy Orozarena set in October on fire again. Short lead by Sebi. The pitch is hit in the air. Deep to right. That ball is gone. White Sox win. The field of dreams. Nine eight the final. Light it up. Can you believe it? It was meant to be first game ever in Iowa. That's the best game ever played in Iowa. And Sanchez belts one to center. Mullins at the wall. And he got it. Are you kidding? No way. No way. Cedric Mullins, you 
You better believe it! Grand larceny in center field! Sanchez can't believe it! Cedric Mullins electrifies the crowd with an unbelievable catch! You think he's a gold glover? How about that? Mullins takes a homer away from Sanchez. Joe Musgrove has gone eight and two thirds and is an out away. The Friar Faithful stand as one in Texas. Ground ball to shortstop. Kim will go to first. The San Diego Padres get their first no hitter in the history of the franchise. And it belongs to San Diego's own Joe Musgrove, sending the Friar Faithful into a frenzy. I'll tell you what. Donnie, if it took this long, it's been well worth it. This is one of the most awesome things I've experienced of watching baseball for a long, long time. Couldn't happen to a better kid. Homegrown, Java Joe. No, no. Popped up. Gonna be a long run. And he goes into the dugout. Did he hold on? Yes, he did. Oh, what a play. Urshela without any regard for his health just came careening down the steps and made the play and held on. And Boone, so concerned, ran across the field and into the Rays dugout. The courage to make that play, Kenny, without any regard wow. for your body. Wow. And he's up. And he will walk slowly to the Yankee dugout and get a big hand from the crowd. What a play in a huge moment for Gio Urshela. Baez hits it on the ground to third, Gonzalez. This is so good. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow, you got to be kidding me. You've got to be they kidding me. They stole a run. You have got to be kidding me. Javi Baez. Keep going. Go. Go. Think you're invisible. El Mago indeed. The Cubs have scored an unbelievable run on a play by Baez. He ran to first. The ball was in the dirt. They had to either tag him or tag the bag. The first baseman, Craig, just started chasing Baez back toward the plate. Meanwhile, the runner from second, Wilson Contreras, rounded third and headed for the plate, and he scores. I can't believe that. Yeah. What is Will Craig thinking about here? Just take the ball to first base. Back pedal to first base. That was just incredible. <laughs> I don't know that I've ever seen a first base coach wave a guy down the first base. You haven't like gotten before. there yet. Comedy of errors on the part of the Pirates here. Just great heads up baseball and, and Baez not quitting on the play. One oh into center field. Hamilton. Oh Whoa! wow. <laughs> A make your own slip and slide for Billy Hamilton. Come on. Like it's his backyard. That is unreal. Well, first of all, you're getting some awful footing. And second of all, he gets a great break on this ball and somehow runs it down. A full out dive and goes into the wall and catches the ball. What a play that is. I mean, it's not like he's protecting himself. Jeez, what a play. A leapy grab the warning track that's one of the best catches we've seen and honestly it looked like he was being slightly cautious on that run and at the last second he totally sold out and he made the grab well it's as good as you're gonna see especially given these conditions as he went slip sliding away through the mud on the warning track and just came up short of the wall head first when he stopped sliding across that track. That is beautiful and a whole lot of fun to watch. That is an all timer by Billy Hamilton. Gonzalez is 0 1. 
Slotted to right center field. Diving play. A walk-off catch. Mookie Magic. The Dodgers two. The Padres nothing. They've taken the first two out of 19 in 2021. From your days in Little League, you are first taught on defense to think, what am I going to do if the ball is hit to me? Well, Mookie Betts knew that before the pitch, and boy, did he execute. Curving away from him, full out dive, has enough range, gets in the heel of the glove. Oh, my gosh, how fun is that?